Hi everyone, welcome back again. My name is Bharat and today we are going to discuss with a new topic that is most common types of SOC models. So let us get started with our today's topic, types of SOC models. So we do have multiple different types of SOC models. SOC basically stands for Security Operation Center, which is a dedicated site inside your organization, which take care of all the different types of security operations. So starting with our first type of SOC model, that is external SOC. In this type of SOC model, the organization is neither having a dedicated human resource or a workforce team, neither the organization do have any dedicated infrastructure. They are hiring the services of SOC from external security service providers or MSSP. That is your external SOC. The next one, internal SOC. This type of SOC is the SOC where the enterprise does set up its own cybersecurity team within its workforce. Internal SOC is also known as dedicated SOC. So a dedicated SOC can be considered as a centralized SOC, which will be having a dedicated infrastructure, team, and processes, which will be focused completely on the security. Though the size of the dedicated SOC can be varying upon the organization size, risk, and the security needs. This type of SOC will be having security experts working at various different levels for 24 seven monitoring and operations. That was your internal SOC. Virtual SOC, also known as VSOC. So in this type of SOC model, the organization do not have the dedicated facility or the infrastructure. So it will be a web-based portal where organizations, employees, or the workforce, or the analyst will be working remotely on off-site infrastructure. So the teams will be monitoring all the events and will be responding to the threats, but the dedicated facility will be off-site, the organization's location. That is your virtual SOC. Next one is your global SOC, also known as GSOC. So in this particular type of SOC, the organization do have multiple SOC and a high level group that oversees all the smaller SOCs across a large region is known as GSOC. GSOC is also known as command SOC. So command SOC has multiple SOCs distributed across the location, often globally. So organization who generally uses this type of GSOC are global 2000 companies, large telecom service providers, defense agencies, and multiple big four companies. So the command SOC will be controlling all the other SOCs and will be also performing various different actions in order to get working with different different SOCs across the larger region. So that is your global SOC. The next one is co-managed. So in this last type of SOC model, which we are going to discuss today, it is basically combination of your internal and external type of SOC. That means we can consider this particular type of SOC which can be choose by the organization where there are certain resource constraints or budget limits. So just for an example, we can have an on-site monitoring solutions while we can have some responsibilities which can be offloaded to the external staff. So these type of trade-offs can be done in order to manage the right balance between the control which we will be keeping in house and what we do outsource to the provider. 
so that is your co-managed sock so all these are guys five different types of sock models so that's all up till for today see you guys in next one thank you